and boom shakalaka. Get your Oreo on your S8 or SA Plus today. Why wait? Today I'm going to show you how to update your phone from your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus to the latest Oreo. Now this is a stock um, uh, ROM 8.0 that's not released yet. It may be a pre-beta version. I'm actually not sure if this is going to be the actual official version. Um, but I'm actually running it. Um, it's running fine. Um, and it won't, you know, if you're already on stock, you can use this method. Um, you're likely, more likely not to lose any data. We'll go ahead and see. Um, this is only for the International Exynos version. Uh, if you have the uh, version ending in F or FD, I'm um, go ahead and double check the model number that's supported on my on my site at galaxyas8root.com before you go ahead. Um, so, so first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and put it in download mode, All right? And we'll see if it erases data or not. The first time I did it, I just erased data because whatever. But. Um, go ahead and hold down volume down, big speed and the power. Alright, that will put you into download mode. Hit the volume up button. And you'll be in the download mode. And then go ahead and connect it to your computer via um, USB Type-C cable. We'll go ahead and put this phone here. So you guys can see what's, while it's flashing, you'll be able to see what's going on. Alright, let's go to our computer. Alright guys, you guys will need to download Samsung USB drivers if you don't have drivers already installed. Obviously this version of Odin. Um, also you'll need uh, either the S8 Oreo.zip or S8 Plus Oreo. This is the actual firmware. Go ahead and unzip the uh, Odin 3. And obviously you'll need a Windows computer. Go ahead and hit uh, extract all. I'm using a Windows 8 by the way. That'll give you Odin. Um, go ahead and double click it. And you should see a blue highlighted comp sign there. If you don't see that, um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run the Samsung USB drivers. No, oh, for some reason, oh, it's already installed. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Let me go back to it. Let me go ahead and unplug, unplug my USB. There we go. Um, simply, if you already have drivers installed, obviously unplug it and plug it in. If you don't have the drivers, install the drivers and then unplug and plug it in. You should see that. Uh, once you see that blue highlighted sign, go ahead and unzip since I'm using an S8. I'm gonna go ahead and unzip this. Um, so the model number that's supported is SMG950F or the F FD model. Uh, the numbers after F or FD doesn't matter. Um, this is for all the international versions. Or if you're using SA Plus, it's gonna be SMG955F or 955FD. All right, go ahead and extract all files. Okay, once it's all extracted, you're gonna go back to Odin, choose BL, and you're gonna go into your downloads for the folder, and go into that folder where I extracted all the files. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the file starting in BL, that's the bootloader, hit open. Um, go ahead and choose CP, and choose the file starting in CP, open. And also CSC, choose file starting home CSC, hit open. And then lastly but not least, go ahead and choose the file with AP. The reason why I do this last is it does an MD5 check and it will take forever if you do the AP first, but you can do it in any order you want. Alright, once that's done, you're going to go ahead and hit start and this will start flashing um, Android 8.0 Oreo. Again, I believe this is beta version, um, but it works just fine and when the official version comes out, you can go ahead and update it OTA also. It shouldn't affect um, because with S8 and S8 Plus, um, they all work for the F and FD, sort of universal. So you should be good. Um, if you're tripping about that, then you can go ahead and just wait for the official, official Oreo. But this one, this is stock um, firmware, so it's not going to change your NOX count. You won't lose your Samsung Pay. Obviously, if you're already rooted, then you will lose your Samsung Pay. And also, if you want to root after... Um, Installing this, you'll obviously go through the whole root process, which means you'll have to um, delete data because it's encrypted. Um, but root method is pretty much exactly the same. I'll have an update on the root method, um, just to I don't know I, for some reason my last root tutorial a lot of ha people were having trouble, but uh, we'll go ahead and fix that up also. But let me go ahead and let this flash, 
and we'll go ahead and take a look at um, Oreo. Okay guys, you'll see pass. If you didn't get any errors, you should be good to go. And you will see the phone actually updating, um, rebooting back into stock recovery. All right, let me go in. You can go ahead and unplug it now. All right, let's see what happens here. Um, by the way, I am using a Sony a7R2, which is one of my favorite cameras, uh, along with, what is this lens? This is a 19 millimeter DN lens for a um, uh, Sony, Sony E-mount. Now I have it zoomed in a little bit. This is what it looks like in full frame for those of you into cameras. Um, you do get a little vignetting, but you can go ahead and use clear zoom, go 1.1, 1.2. You still get very nice quality, nice bokeh. Um, this is a very lightweight setup. Um, also, this DN lens is actually for uh, like a um, APS-C sensor, like Sony A6300, A6500, but works kind of good. You know, like I said, it still works. Even with full frame, you get just small vignetting, so very good wide angle. It's also very good, like, so almost like a GoPro mode, but I really like it. It's very, ah, oh, there we go. It rebooted already. All right, I got to boot it. And you can see I didn't lose any apps, um, so it will upgrade your phone uh, without losing all your data. And you can see my device sta status still stayed official, which is very good. And if you go in software information, uh, you'll see I've got Android 8.0. Let's hit that. And boom shakalaka. Get your Oreo on your S8 or S8 Plus today. Why wait? Right, I've been actually using this for a little bit. I actually really like it, uh, especially the unlock screen, looking really good. Um, yeah, that's how you install uh, Oreo, latest Android Oreo 8.0 on your S9 or S9 Plus, the international version. Have a great day, don't forget to the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, stay on Android. Hi, click here to subscribe. Click here to subscribe.